Thank you very much, uh, Estagidi Ewart, and welcome back to Straight Talk Africa, live from Washington. Once again, it's time to bring in my colleague and social media reporter. Take it away again, Ayen. Thanks again, Shaka. We got tremendous feedback in our STA inbox to this week's question. As Women's History Month is drawing to a close, U.S. President Barack Obama says we must remember the trailblazers of the past, including the women who are not recorded in our history books. We honor their legacies by carrying forward the valuable lessons learned from the powerful examples they have set. This leads us to our question of the week, which asks, which African women do you feel have empowered Africa and why? Before we begin, I'd like to thank all of you for using our, all of our social media platform to communicate with us. And another reminder that we are tweeting live today. Use the hashtag VOA Women Empowerment. And if you haven't yet, please follow us at VOA Shaka. And speaking of, let's go to a tweet from Emmanuel Cachelle, Afri who says African women who, who've empowered Africa are Winnie Mandela, Miriam Makeba, Ellen Johnson, and Joyce Banda. And well, Shaka, those are certainly um, an incredible group of women. Uh, your take on that? Very interesting. Uh, you want to go for that, uh, Harmin? Go for it, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying earlier, you know, I strongly believe that the number of women that they mentioned that have influenced uh, the continent, uh, but we don't forget also the one who were uh, unspoken of, the one we never heard of. And uh, I mentioned earlier the Amazon women. And most of the time I say people don't talk a lot about the Amazon women because uh, it's probably, Benin is probably a francophone country, and that's why we don't hear a, a lot about it around here. But they have played a great I role. Uh, it, great, wonderful. And uh, we have Wangari Masai, <coughs> and I have had the opportunity to work with her on a project related to environment, and I was really pleased with she, the work that <coughs> she was uh, doing. And you may be interested to learn that uh, she appeared on this very program not once, not twice. But, but three times. times. Oh, three times. Lucky you. Lucky hmm. you. She is a trailblazer. She, she set up a great example for women to just go for, to fight for the, for the, for the right thing. For the right and for the right thing. Very interesting. Uh, Ayen? Thanks again, Chaka. And thank you um, for using our social media platform to communicate to us. Let's begin with a comment from Straight Talk Africa Facebook fan. Quickariza Michael, who writes, all African women who gave birth to the revolutionaries of Africa. Chaka, it's really hard to disagree with that. What's your take? Very interesting. Uh, what about that, uh, Karin? Ah, well, I, I couldn't agree more. Um, I think Africa, we, uh, we always see our continent in different perspectives. I think for me, um, right now, I see Africa going through um, another revolutionary um, uh, struggle mm -hmm. um, from the times of colonization. And I cannot, and my heart goes out to, um, and I, I'm more, in, um, I think, sensitive to those mothers who are not heard, who are not seen, those who um, um, have given birth to these uh, men and women. I mean, we, we I, Look, when you look at the, the, the types of conflict we have, we now have women who are fighters uh, um, in, the, in the likes of the Amazons, sometimes for the wrong, uh, from, for, for the wrong wars or the wrong causes, uh, but sometimes it's for the, you know, there might be causes out there which they um, uh, aspire to carry, to carry uh, forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think of their mothers. Um, we, we talk about um, Oliver Tambo and you think of Steve Biko and, and you think of their mothers. Mm. Uh, you think of uh, Nelson Mandela and you think of his mother. Um, all these you know, powerful figures uh, on the African continent uh, whose um, characters were mu very much influenced and they themselves um, have, have testified on that. Very interesting. Uh, um, any more reaction uh, from our audience, Ayen? Yes, we certainly have a more reaction. Let's go to another comment from a Straight Talk Africa Facebook fan, Abba Musa Yao from Nigeria, who writes, Nigeria has many women that have made us proud, but I suggest Anikepo Akande, president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce. 
And our last Facebook comment comes from Tumusime Rogers from Kabale, Uganda, who writes, Winnie Byayima, the wife of Ugandan opposition leader Kizi Bisege, she is the executive director of Oxfam International, an engineer, a politician, and a diplomat. She foresees what is best for many people's lives. Shaka, back to you. Very interesting because, in fact, uh, that Facebook uh, comment comes from uh, the little town where he was truly was born and comes from, Kabare, yeah. southwestern Uganda. Huh, interesting. Interesting. How do you respond to uh, that Winnie Bianyema lady? Incredible. You know, I do not... Uh read a lot really about uh, this person you might tell me more about it but uh, Karin will have... probably be <laughs> the right probably... person to talk about her <laughs> now she's a fantastic uh, fantastic leader I had the pleasure uh, the honor to meet with her once um, uh, many years ago and uh, she, she, she just has this uh, aura this presence which cannot be ignored um, and 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 she, she she fought long and hard uh, throughout her life uh, <laughs> Um, she, she started, I think she was among the very uh, few women who were involved in the liberation struggle and uh, rose in the ladder and, and here she is, uh, the director of, a, of, a, of an organization like Oxfam. It's, it's a fantastic journey and I think it, she's a very uh, inspirational um, figure. I can tell you that uh, when I had the privilege of being uh, one of the co-moderators of the Ugandan presidential debate, Oh, in yes. the Ugandan capital Kampala on February 13th, she came in wearing a very beautiful African dress, coming to attend the debate, and of course her husband was on the podium, mm -hmm. one of the presidential candidates, uh, Dr. Chiza Besige. And uh, the whole international conference center, my friend, rose up and well started cheering, as if in fact they were looking at the next first lady. There she was. Well, Good for thoughts. thanks again for bringing us this week's audience reaction. Thank you, Shaka. It's been a pleasure. And that does it for today's social media segment. Just a reminder that we appreciate all the feedback, whether it's in a social media form or using other means to communicate to us. Please keep them coming. And if you are new and if you're a new fan, drop us a line at africatv at voanews.com. Once again, our email address is africatv at voanews.com or post your comment on our Facebook page. Enter the keywords Straight Talk Africa. Be sure to visit us online at voaafrica.com or you can join our YouTube channel, sign up to VOA TV to Africa and follow us on Twitter at VOA Shaka. Um, a reminder that the show is streaming live every Wednesday 